Welcome to Untold Reacts, the channel where I let untold stories be told to me, and today we continue on with What If. I'm excited to get back into it, and I want to apologize for this being a little late. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, it doesn't really matter, but for the people that keep up with my channel week to week, I am a little bit late on this because I was sick for the last couple days, so I wasn't able to get up What If the day of release, so I apologize for that. I usually do. But uh, for that reason, I'm really excited to get back into it. But also for that reason, I do know that it is something to do with Killmar Killmonger and Tony Stark. I I'm well aware of that because I've seen it on Twitter. I I've just seen like the trending tab and stuff like that. So like, I'm aware of the characters involved, but I don't know what happens. Um, but I did go ahead and read the title because I already knew that. And it made sense because I already saw that in the trailer too. We, <laughs> we already saw uh, Killmonger saving Tony in the What If trailer. So it's it's not really a spoiler anyway. Like, I, I'm content with, like, getting this one kind of revealed to me, so it's not a big deal. I'm excited to get into it, though, and I hope you guys are, too. But I want to give a quick thank you, lovely timing, <laughs> to my lovely patrons <laughs> that are joining over here on Patreon. And they get the next four weeks of early content, as well as full-length versions of all the reactions now. So, check it out if you guys want to, but no worries if not. I'm going to shut up, though. Let's go ahead and get into some what if. All right. Space. Ah! I forgot about credits. Yeah. I just saw John Favreau, so I know Happy's in here. That's interesting. Oh, it makes sense. Who's Tony? Never mind. I, I relate Happy to Spider-Man now, so <laughs> it was confusing so to think of him in relation to Tony. Ironically, Ask I swear, no other intro at a show gets me this hyped, man. I don't oh, know. What if? It's like Twilight Zone, but in a universe I care about. You know? <laughs> yeah, we already saw this. Well, not the the entire sequence, but we know what's about to happen. No gang signs. Please, no gang signs. <laughs> I don't know who's doing his voice. How it all started, man. Hello, Killmonger. <laughs> so why is he here? Was a spectacular entrance, seriously. The ten rings have reinforcements en route. We need to move now. Fine by me. Who's that? German? A nickname. Ah, that makes me want to see Shang Chi more. Oh, cool. Oh, this is so cool. Shaped in battle. Fine. Sacrifice. And I am Iron Man. Cool, but why? Dead, oh, the just a recap. Iron. So Tony never changed. I realized we have to do better. Build bigger and fight better for them. Which is why Stevens, the Navy SEAL who saved my Damn life, it. as Stark Industries new chief must be my promotion. <laughs> It's all right. It's fine, Happy. You could write Star Wars. I think we're If you're trying to imply that he had advanced knowledge of the attack, she'd be right. I uncovered plans to assassinate Tony Stark while on a deep cover operation inside the Ten Rings. Whoa, 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 whoa. COO Obadiah Stane. <laughs> get fucked. Let's get. I think that's actually Michael B. Jordan. Documents, phone records. You son of a security. <laughs> <laughs> Happy wants that promotion. That guy. <laughs> so Tony's still a piece of shit. Man, how connected is he to Wakanda, though? It's okay, I don't like it either, Pepper. So, Colonel Rhodes, what can you tell me? Graduated Annapolis at 19 in my Let's go. <laughs> Nothing, and that's the problem. Everyone wants something. Welcome to Candyland. I built everything in here myself. I'm trying to miniaturize the Jericho into a portable firearm. That she pops. Easy killer. Peace. That's insane. Me, this is my doctoral thesis. I developed plans for an automated combat drone. Thought I'll Jarvis, search the MIT doctor. This is so bad. <laughs> wow. Uh, what? I like anime. Worst case scenario, we end up with the world's most expensive Gundam <laughs> model. Jarvis, Star <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> oh my god. I've never watched that show, but I, I know of Gundam. So, like, <laughs> I was gonna say something, but they beat me to it. I'm happy to see Tony again, but it's so sad that he's, he's like, so wrong. <laughs> Operations test. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> failure if it explodes. Okay, that changes things. Hey, Jarvis, if man. We could miniaturize an arc reactor. Oh, well, that's a dumb idea. What we need is <laughs> brain with the right. He's gonna melt that down. This is so fascinating, this, this but so hurtful. 
Ulysses Claw? <laughs> no, Tony. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. I feel bad for Pepper, even though she doesn't know what she doesn't have in this universe. It still hurts. Is that circus? Can't clean up the world without getting your hands dirty. Oh, that is good. Just good. <laughs> now that I know you mean business. Uh, where did you find all this? That syrup? Oh, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Is Tchalla gonna stop? Tony Stark. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. Our quarrel is not with you, Ghana. Oh, really? Because you're kind of sending me mixed messages right now. Called him cousin, so he knows him. Oh. Killmonger with Tony's tech is a bit OP, not gonna lie. Oh shit. This I'm feeling. That is not good. Is T'Challa okay? Kid, you gotta be part of the system to change the system. Nah, you could burn it down. Oh, that hurt. Yikes. And he did kill T'Challa. Oh my god. Ah. Man, I'm glad they didn't cut anything of his, but it is like almost off-putting to see this happen to T'Challa. <laughs> but, uh Oh shit. Word of the wise, never play Clue with Jarvis. He sees all. Go ahead. Well, police are the law. I want justice. Uh, uh, I know that had double meanings, but. Probably not. But there's no need. <sighs> Oh my right. god. Like a charm. Uh, it's like Ultron's ghoul. You you did Ultron for Ultron. Without Ultron. What do you mean? <laughs> oh. Did he save that claw? Oh, shit. Oh, I love that Wakanda music. I don't know who I'm rooting for, but this is cool to watch. <laughs> Oh my god. Believe it or not, Tony, I was really hoping you wouldn't make the cut. For a minute, I really thought it was you and me against the world. We're trying to do right by our fathers. We sound the same to me. The difference between you and me. Uh, that you can't see the difference between you and me. Uh, uh, Damn. That was rough. I like that transition. It's the next move. They want a war. So that's what we'll give them. Put the Liberator drones into production. Okay. It's no not even any better. <laughs> this is not ideal, though. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've been, like, at a loss this entire episode because it's. I feel so conflicted. I don't know what to feel necessarily. Oh, I'm glad to see my vibranium's been put to good use. Yeah, and I'm just... I forgot how ruthless Killmonger is, but man has his reasons. He's just very excessive in his ways of showing it. Savage. Like you said, Wakandans are full of surprises. Ah, uh, man, he's so fucking ruthless. <laughs> I come with a gift, an offering of justice. This is so interesting. You have the eyes of your father. Uh, he doesn't know he but killed T'Challa. I shared the same story with my own son. I spent my whole life searching for my home. You are home. But there's no time to rest, Uncle. War is here. This episode has been like the so uneasy. Please, they are built by Americans. We'll be home in time for lunch. It will not be that. For that, we'll this destroy. The is so smart. But goddamn you! Ah! You. you took his son. You're not actually These empathetic, though. So I'm legit. Isn't it worth the risk? He's blinded by rage, and he's actually articulately thinking it through, and this plan is working, and I don't like it. That's so cool. It kind of resembles uh, Wanda's barrier with the red, <laughs> like coming through a barrier. Like, that That just looks really cool. Wakanda. So the rumors are true. I'm pretty sure he's the reason they're here. I don't think Tony, like, last-ditch effort sent them here. So it's, like, through Ross, but also him. Know that whatever life journey takes you, You'll always have a home in Wakanda. Hold on. Damn it. <laughs> Tony Stark. He must have built the backup transmitter. 
That man was a villain. Didn't trust anyone. Ah, in this universe, it kind of was. My brain hurts. I can't defend anyone. <laughs> Everyone's right. <laughs> this episode's so conflicting. This is really cool, though. Wakanda forever! Uh, I want to feel good about these things, but it feels so, like, wrong. I feel betrayed as I'm watching. It's weird, because, like, I literally wanted Killmonger to live in Black Panther. Like, his story was so, like, real and so sad. I wanted him to have a redemption, even, arguably, he might not deserve it. <laughs> so this just hurts. <laughs> like, this is just pain. <laughs> but it's also kind of cool to see his plan come to fruition. Is he saving Okoye? Okay. So he wants to be the hero to Wakanda, then. So, like, Mysterio's plan, but on a smaller scale, just for Wakanda. This is so cool, and I love that we get to see her fight, but I just, I'm... I'm genuinely so conflicted, I don't know what to feel, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I know that was meta. Oh, man. Even the Watcher looks kind of sad. <laughs> oh, he gets that view, but alive. Oh, man. Does T'Chaka know? I only wish that. we could share it with our brothers and sisters across the world. Your father. Perhaps that is why Bust has returned you to us. I am a loyal servant of Wakanda, your majesty. With this early, <sighs> He's gonna naturally become... become he's Wakanda. the Black Panther and he's gonna become king. And he did it without anyone knowing. <laughs> oh, what a fucking genius, man. Oh, shit. Is his dad gonna, like, roast him? Like, tell him he was wrong? Was it worth it? Oh, my God! My cousin. For what? A throne? For my father, who suffered through oppression while you just sat back and watched. You believe the cure for human suffering is more suffering. The cure is power, and now I have. Because you stole it and be a very volatile force, cousin. It will get the best of you eventually. On your plane or on ours. Destroyers are circling the African coast, and an old Jericho missile's locked in. Most Americans can't find on a map. By tomorrow, they won't need to. The shit's why Killmonger's right, man. What? How did you get in here? I'm here to help Miss Potts. Hey, yo. Mr. Stark was a genius, but he's not the only genius. It appears we have a common enemy. Unfortunately. Your side and mine refuse to see it. So, let us open their eyes together. Heroes, they live forever. Oh. As do the ones they inspire to carry on the fight. That was a really good episode. I miss Chadwick, man. I'm sorry. They had a lot of meta lines that episode really laying into it. Both the entire plot of Black Panther, the metaphors to real life, and how both Chadwick and T'Challa both fit into both of those stories. That was brilliantly done. I just, it tore me up a little bit. I am usually giddy and happy by the end of these episodes, but that one, that was real. That was really real. But uh, let's talk about it. <laughs> oh man, that was a brilliant episode. I honestly, I didn't expect T'Challa to even be in that episode, but the underlying message there was really about T'Challa. Like, our heroes are really never gone. And yet, we had another. We have all these lovely lines from Chadwick talking about the afterlife and the next plane, and in my culture, death isn't the end. And these beautiful words that, like, I can only imagine. Like, they mean so much to me. As someone who doesn't know Chadwick personally, I guarantee, man, those words must mean the everything to his family and loved ones. Like, to be able to hear someone who's passed speak from a context of an afterlife, it's very unique. It happens extremely rarely, where they happen to record something before they pass that has something to do with them passing and able to relay and process that information for the people still here. Like, that was just beautiful. I, I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm hurt, but damn it, that was, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And god damn it, I miss Chadwick. Beautiful lad. Fucking beautiful, man. It's just not okay. Man, 
I'm, I'm usually so much more energetic for these reactions, but like that just got to me really early. Like I was excited for Killmonger. It was a really cool dynamic between Tony and Killmonger until I started remembering everything about Killmonger and how sad his story is and how right he was. Like he dies at the end. And I remember so strongly wanting him to live because he was wrong in his ways, but his purpose, his meaning is right. And my culture, where I come from, has a lot to do with it. And I hold true to it and understand it. And I feel immense guilt for things that I had nothing to do with because it is my culture. Just as some people can have pride in their culture, I have disparity in my own. And these things get to me a little deeper than they should, but that's because I have thought about these kinds of things, I think, a lot more than most people my age or people that I even know. Like, I don't know. I, I don't think that a lot of people want to touch on these things. And for that very reason, it continues. I think this was a beautiful way of doing it, though, because he he won and that's kind of the dilemma you have watching black panther because you don't want him to die because you understand him and he's been through so fucking much losing his dad and feeling like the world abandoned him and the world wants to oppress him which it's just it has to be like an awful way to grow up and to fully understand that character and to see him actually achieve what he wanted to achieve it's no better than watching him die because you you knew even watching Black Panther, had he actually won, it would not have been a good outcome. But watching him die wasn't any better. But at the same time, it wouldn't have been any better or worse had it gone differently. So Black Panther ended how it needed to. And this was a really good flip on that because he won. He did what he needed to do. And I thought maybe his dad would lay into him, but I couldn't remember if his dad was like, a good person for Wakanda or not. I think he, his dad might have been the one that betrayed Wakanda. I, I think. I can't remember, but it's been a while since I've seen the movie. But the, the fact that it wasn't his dad and they had T'Challa be the one talking to him, like, he literally killed him. So, to sit there and have to... Like, you think you're about to face ancestors and you go into this realm and you have to face your cousin who you killed for your love of the country which he is from. Like... This entire episode was just conflicting, and that is even touching on the fact that Tony Stark was a villain. <laughs> that was a beautiful episode, just a different kind of beautiful than the rest of these episodes, because they have been, like, fun, thrilling, just incredibly interesting. But this one, this one just felt conflicting and real in multiple ways, whether it was touching on the fact that we really did lose Chadwick, or touching on the fact that not every villain is a villain and not every hero is a hero, and there's a bit of both in each. Like, this just was a beautiful episode, and it had beautiful messages both through the obvious and through the subtext. I am blown away by this episode, but I'm also heartbroken. <laughs> To be completely honest with you, I think I need to rewatch the zombie episode now so I can get that speech from him and and, and you hear him tell me that again because I I can't get over Chadwick, man. Just every time I see him in this show, it just warms my heart, but it also breaks my heart. The world lost so much meaning when it lost Chadwick, and they're able to write that into the story, so we get to see these emotional emotional moments involving T'Challa's death, and it just it correlates so much. It hurts, you know, like. I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. Hopefully I made sense uh, am uh, amidst all my mumbling and just confusion and despair right now. I feel very conflicted and mixed emotions, but it has nothing to do with this being a bad piece of media. It was quite the contrary. I just, uh, it was beautiful. It was simply beautiful on multiple levels and multiple different ways. And it was really interesting, again, to just see more of our Avengers die, I guess. <laughs> That's what the show loves showing us. <laughs> but uh, I think that about does it for me today guys sorry if I wasn't like up in the like utmost super excited chatty mood but I just really wanted to touch on that because I I, I noticed the sub the, the subtext throughout and it's real shit man and it hurts like Killmonger had every right to be so angry every fucking right just not every right to do what he did in place of those feelings that rather than just having the feelings he took action on them in very aggressive ways which was the wrong course of action but he is very right in the way he feels about america and i'm not going to begin to get into that because i'm an american myself and i hate it here <laughs> so <laughs> i'm not going to be begin to get into that <laughs> we don't need to take it to a political area but all in all man this was a great episode 
And if anything, guys, use T'Challa, use Chadwick as your beacon of hope to be better. I, I will leave you with that. But I think that about does it. Thank you guys so much again for stopping by. Like, it's weird. I feel whole from that episode, and I also feel sad. I just, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Be good people.